Making knives for each character is a tedious job, so most people just make it one time and use it for their next projects. And that's fine, but the problem is our irises are not nearly as similar as you think. Look at these images. Not only their color is different, they're also different in many other ways. So you can't just change the color of the iris and call it new. There are some pretty good add-ons that give you fully procedural eyes so you can change it completely. Those are great, but they're just not realistic. You see, the iris is not just a flat surface with diffuse color. We got many bumps and holes all over it that can only be achievable with sculpting or displacement maps. That was why I made this add-on that give you all sorts of different eyes with different shapes that can be usable in any other projects. And since it has many different options and settings, you can make some weird looking eyes with it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how it works and what can it do. You can download it from the link in the description. Go to edit, preference and in the add-ons, click on this drop down and select install from disk. Find the zip file you just downloaded and install it. After that, make sure you enable it. If you don't have the right menu, press in to bring it out, then switch to iForge. After that, you will be greeted with this eye thumbnail. Click on import eye so we can start. First of all, let's go to rendered view so we can actually see our eye. Now we can just simply select the eye and place it into the eye socket. On the top, we got three different types that we can choose based on the type of character we have. I choose realistic for now because my character is realistic. Now from here, we can switch between the different iris types. There are 10 different iris types for each style. You just have to select any of them that looks better on your character. These are not going to be our final eyes because we have a lot more options to get into, like this brightness slider where you can change the brightness of the iris. If you have a style as character, you can switch to the stylized. And now we can switch between the different iris types using the exact same option. After that, in the bottom, we can change the color of the iris using this slider. Simple as that. But what if we want to give it multiple custom colors? Just have to click on use custom color and the slider turns into a color ramp. You can add as many colors in any order you want. I even left a simple iris at the end so you can make a simple looking eye color using the color ramp if you want. Obviously, you can switch back to realistic and use the color ramp to change the color of the iris to any color you want, or try different iris types to see which one fits it better. If we switch to anime, we got 10 more iris types specifically made for anime. Some of them are designed to be oval shaped, so we can just click on the oval iris to make the iris oval shaped, then change the type again. Now here we have different pupil shapes. If we switch to the next one, we get an animal looking pupil. This can be used for making cat eyes or snake eyes. And obviously you can change the color, type up the iris, or change the pupil size to match it with your character or animal that you're working on. Switching to next pupil shape, we got a horizontal one, which again appears in some other animals like goats, but you can use it for some mythical creatures or stuff like that. Next one is a heart, which clearly is a stylized one and non-existent in real life. So let's switch to a stylized and see which one looks better. This one is cute. Next one is a star. And oh, you can also change the size of these pupils as usual using the same option. Now, since this is a stylized look and not realistic, we can enable fake reflections. That way we get these nice set of stylized reflections that we can switch between to see which one looks better. It sticks to the cornea and it's visible from every angle, which is cool. There are also cute ones like these stars or heart-shaped reflections and a bunch of other fake reflections to choose from. Now we can increase or decrease the whole iris size using this slider and the one on the bottom. When both of them are on zero, that means the most natural one, but we can do whatever we want. You can even change the smallest details like the sharpness of the ring around the cornea. If you increase it, you see we get sharper black ring around the iris. Using this option right here, we can change the size of the bulge of the cornea. You can make it really big or make it fully flat. It's totally up to you. Fully flat is for when you want to make anime eyes. They don't have a cornea, so it's better to be flat like this. And after that, with oval iris, we have a pretty decent anime eyes. Have you noticed sometimes you put the eye inside the eye socket, but it still feels like it doesn't belong there? Especially in Eevee, that's when fake shadow comes in handy. Same thing for the iris too. We get a dark shadow on the top. In this clearer color, we can change the intensity of the veins. If your character cried recently, this will definitely come in handy. Or if your character is really angry or hurt, you can change the color of the iris to red. And as you can see, it looks really hurt. Obviously, you can change it to any color you want. Now, what if we switch to Eevee? It obviously doesn't look as good as Cycles, but it is still pretty decent, if you ask me. If you think the iris is too dark, you can enable Eevee Ready option, and it will disable the shadows for the cornea and make the iris visible 
visible in the dark lighting conditions. And if you zoom in, you can see we have a lot of details inside the iris in every single one of them, thanks to the high quality displacement map we have for these irises. At the end, we got Lacrimal Coronco and Tear Line. If we click on the left one, Lacrimal Coronco gets imported to the scene and you can use it for your character to add more realism. And if you zoom in, you see the insane amount of details on the texture. Also, the tear line would help the eye to blend better with the character. Go ahead and make some random eyes. Download link in the description. There are also a lot of other cool things in my Gumroad if you want to check out, like this realistic skin shader tutorial or this game ready hair tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.